Good day friends, it's Chris and on this video, we're going to do a big comparison of all of these Derwent pencils. Now, disclaimer before we begin, um, this video is not sponsored by Derwent, even if I, as much as I want to, um, for them to sponsor me, but then again, I'm just a local um, colored pencil and um, watercolor hobbyist, so I don't, I don't think they'd ever find any means to sponsor me, so I think that won't influence my review and background of my experience using these colored pencils. Um, aside from that, um, all of these pencils are bought with my own money or with tips given by some of you lovely and generous viewers, which of course my gratitude and love for you does not diminish um, despite my review of these pencils right in front of me. We're going to review six of the standard colored pencils as well as have an overview of the two water soluble pencils that they have. Right now, I have with me the Derwent Pro Color, the Derwent Color Soft, the Derwent Artist, Chromaflow, the Derwent Drawing Pencils, and the Derwent Lightfast. And then for the water soluble side, I have the Graphitint and the Ink Tents. So um, I am lacking probably three of the other pencils that they own. You have here now the Studio Set, the Pastels, and the Metallic Colored Pencils. Um, I do not have these three other range from their went simply because um, I'm not made of, like, I do not make that much money. <laughs> my budget is still limited with regards to my spending. But aside from that, um, I'm not that big of a fan of using pastel pencils. Then with regards now to the um, studio set, um, I've read online that it has the same core as that of the artist range. So basically my thoughts on the artist range as well as the studio range would probably overlap. Hence, I just skip by on the studio set. With regards to the metallic set, uh, I, I, I was supposed to buy the metallic set in Laser Marketing here in Baguio City. However, um, they sold out and I really wanted to film and get this video out for you already, so we're skipping that for this time. But probably um, I might still purchase it just so that I can review them for you. Now, in comparing these different pencils, we're going to look at several facets of these pencils that I look for. I like my pencils to be blendable, buildable, and easy to mix a new color into one another. Think of it as if I'm that lazy person that doesn't want to go into the fuss of having to dip into odorless mineral spirits all the time and um, having the patience to blend um, small areas at a time. I'm basically just a hobbyist when it comes to um, water color and colored pencil. Hence, you know, I do not want to exert that much effort. But still, I would like my coloring experience to be fun and stress-free. So, um, to get into specifics, we're looking at the pencil score, the hand feel of the pencils, what it's made of, if it's wax or oil. We're going to look at its water solubility, its break resistance. Its... We're also going to look at how it handles staying on a point. We're going to check its color range, its erasability, how much it layers with itself, um, if it's available open stock its price, and will also just give the intangibles such as how unique the pencils are and the enjoyability of using them. And of course, um, just a footnote, the light fastness of the different pencils. So let's take a look at the Pro Color first. So from the Derwent website, they described the Derwent Pro Color as having the ability to both hold a strong point and a smooth lay down with one pencil. Derwent Pro Color has a covering power of a wax yet a glide of an oil pencil. They described it um, as highly pigmented, constantly smooth, strong core, minimal cheap chipping, and the one that I got holds 12 colors. And first thing that I observed from its color range is that there are there's no white in it and I'm kind of disappointed since white is probably one of the more important colored pencils, especially when it comes to blending. My experience using the Derwent Pro Color. Um, to be honest, it wasn't my favorite because although it is 
waxy and it has a smooth lay down on the swatch how it layers was not the best it sort of develops a wax bloom very very quickly and you know that i love to blend in my colored pencil similar to how you should blend batter i don't know if that makes sense but i want when i layer one pencil on top of each other it blends with the one underneath it and for the case of the pro color it doesn't do that instead it just builds up this shiny waxy layer on top of the paper which makes it difficult already to lay down more colors on top of it for the coloring process that you will see later on i really relied on my alcohol markers just so that i can blend some colors together but even by then um it was kind of difficult Regardless, um, it does appear pretty vibrant on the paper upon swatch and it transfers very minimally and um, it smudges pretty lightly. Now, when it comes to erasing the um, Pro Color, it doesn't lift off the page that easily. And you know what happens when you try to lay down a rubber eraser over a thick layer of wax. It just leaves a weird strip of whiteness onto it which is not the best look but um regardless um i think erasing is not um most artists um technique to use as you could see here now while i try to create a gradient with it you could actually do that with some of the first initial layers but once you get into trying to layer more than probably um, five or six layers of light shading it starts to build that nasty wax layer that i said and it becomes even more pronounced once you start to burnish on the paper it is a good pencil if you're a beginner but i was just expecting something more out of the derwent pro color especially that they use the word pro um just to market this pencils uh i think it's more of something geared towards um more enthusiastic derwent lovers um if that makes sense and yeah um there are better better art pieces that you could do um with other um colored pencils from them now you see here a demonstration of me um coloring in this colorful barracuda um with these colored pencils and there were some struggles but again um, it doesn't matter how difficult your art supplies are. What matters more is the techniques and skills that you try to incorporate with each and every art piece. And I tried my best. And here is the finished results. More information. Maximum color range, 72 pencils. It's price around 250 euros, which puts it at about $1.30. The next color pencils that we're looking at are the Derwent Chromaflow, which are relatively the newest range that Derwent has. The Derwent Chromaflow, since releasing its expanded range, has changed the way that it has been packaged, okay? So um, the, co the tin does not have the same cover as the one that I'm showing you right now. By the way, upon bringing out the pencils from its case, it had a matte coating on it and Am I the only one who finds matte coatings weird on the hands? <laughs> or it's just a me problem? Anyways, yeah, um, the barrels from the Chromaflow is a bit more skinny compared to the other Derwent pencils. Um, it's, I think, 3.5 millimeters as opposed to the others with 4 millimeters or bigger. And in, in, in the hands, it feels as if it is as thick as the um standard prisma premier colored pencils so um how does the pencil perform um they were not lying when they said that the colors are vibrant like it really pops off the page i'm using a toned gray paper from strathmore and it just really emphasized how vibrant and punchy and bold these colors are um you do need to sharpen them upon getting them out of the pack so that they'd perform better um i i felt like once i used it directly from the tin it was as if there was a film covering the points of the pencil so um i guess you need to sort of um remove that layer first before you get into using them properly it layers on top of itself well um not as well as the higher tier type of pencils that they have but it does layer beautifully and when it comes to blendability um it's not the best when it comes to blending um and mixing colors on top of each other however um 
once you put one color on top of the other, it just gets darker and it deepens the color of the pencil which you laid down before. Um, it's kind of erasable, but um, take that as you will. When it comes now to blending, since um, since I did mention that um, the color, once you layer it on top of other colors, that it just gets more bright or more bold or more dark, depending on what color you used, um, it makes blending kind of difficult. But um, if you find the right techniques of um, sort of trying to preserve the tooth of the paper, the colors will eventually have a smooth and nice gradient on top of one another now for the demo drawing that you will see later on me and my friends went out this one time and um, we used this claw machine and we got this cute little octopus plushie which i decided to draw and my experience using the chromaflow with these um with this subject matter is that it works it works pretty well um although you could see some shininess develop quickly the boldness of the colors really pops off the page very nicely chromaflow has a maximum of 72 colors and its cost is a euro 80 cents now um i'm showing to you my favorite of the bunch like not gonna lie gonna cut to the chase the derwent drawing pencils are probably my favorite from all of the lines that they have it comes at a specific curated color set and i absolutely love these colors the derwent website describes this as having an earthy color range derwent drawing pencils is ideal for wildlife and landscape drawings portraits and life studies and as you could see here the color range is sort of more muted but at the same time you could still see some punchy colors out of it i don't know how to describe it but it's bold while still having a neutral color and i guess it also has something to do with how it plays with the two gray of the paper that I'm using. Um, one of the woes that you could have with this colored pencil is that since the core is very soft and very creamy, you may run into issues with it um, sn not really snapping but really just breaking off similar to how a Prisma color would but um, since the core of the drawing pencils is a lot thicker, you could actually just tape it back to the pencil and use the most out of that core that broken off from you your pencil and use that once again. It layers on itself pretty nicely as well. Um, it gets to a point where it becomes creamy as if you're working with um, sort of paint. That's why it's so nice to blend with it and blending the different earth earthy tones that um, this color range has is absolutely surprising if it's your first time to use the range but once you get used to the colors that you have you know which pe pencil would blend well to the next one. When it comes to erasability, it does erase but still leave sort of a stain with it. When it comes now to um, creating gradients and blending it f from one color to the next, it's an absolute breeze given that it's very creamy. I think this is the closest we can have in comparison to a Prisma Premier um, colored pencil. and. Um, it's just really beautiful. Um, I have nothing bad to say when it comes to its color range and its performance. But um, that's where the con lies also in its color range. If you're someone who really loves to draw with, um, with some bright and vivid colors, the Chroma Flow line or the other lines that they have is more for you. This is for those who love to um, use muted colors and I happen to be one of those people and it's really my joy to just use this pencils every time I get. It blends well using a alcohol based um, blender and you could still create details with it but you have to be cautious with how you use that um, fine point from sharpening it to avoid it snapping back but if it, that's the case and the uh, um, core of it snaps again you could tape it back to the pencil and make the most out of it in this um, demonstration i am drawing a cat the 24 set is its biggest set and each pencil would cost you 2 euro 55 or in the philippines through shopee it's a bit more expensive 
now you're looking at the Derwent Artist Pencils. And um, from the website, they mentioned that it has 120 colors. So it has the largest color range from all of their standard color pencil line. Um, they also claim that it is ideal for layering and blending. So we as artists could create as many of our colors as we want. They have a nice fat color strip which is ideal when you want to create expressive drawing yada 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 so yeah it has the standard um four millimeter core which um is not divergent to their other ranges um feeling the pencil it's actually nice in the hands and um it is pretty standard but it has that weird greenish tint on the barrel which i wish to comment on but um it is what it is Using now the artist pencils, um, they feel okay. Um, once again, after being spoiled with how nice Chromaflow and drawing pencils performed, um, I was quite, sort of underwhelmed with the artist pencils. Um, it felt a bit as if it feels like it's closer to being pro color than actually being its own range. Um, it once again had the same problem, you know, it develops a waxy top coat after a few layers or once you start to burnish with this pencils and if, is it just me or does it feel as if the pencils um look a bit murky upon swatches um it it manages to hold its core but it does wear down very quickly so i guess we could say that the core is soft but um how it layers is a bit underwhelming um, the performance of the pencil during these um, testing swatches, uh, it's it's not my favorite. Again, um, I think I was just spoiled with how nice the Chroma Flow and the drawing pencils blend. But you could see here, it actually layers and creates new color pretty well. But it does have its limitations once again when you... Um, when you layer too much, that waxy film comes on top and it's difficult already to create another color right um, on top of it. When it comes now to creating gradients, it's nice. It performs really nicely, to be honest. Um, you could create gradients far easier compared to the vivid chroma flows, but the artist pencils just, it just doesn't feel as creamy or as bold. Uh, I don't want to be rude, but um, the artist pencils feels like they are the craft grade. And using them now in this art piece, it was... Mm, it felt okay. Again, um, you'd see here that it has its limitations of not being vivid or bold enough. It feels like it's just... It has nothing special. And I guess it might have its fan base, but um, to me, it wasn't the best. The artist pencils cost a euro 71. Now we look at the Derwent Color Soft, which is um, a lot of the people on the internet are just pitting the Color Soft um, with the Prisma Premier colored pencils head to head. And I have to be one of those voices that say, I agree with the majority. They do feel very soft. But let's get into the products first. Um, the Color Soft pencils, as described on their website, Sorry guys, cars are passing by pretty often right now at this hour of, fil of recording. Anyway, um, in their website, they mentioned that um, apply bold, vibrant colors to your art with highly versatile Derwent Color Soft pencils that features a soft, velvety textures and they are highly blendable, allowing infinite spectrum of colors. Yes, absolutely yes. So, um, after... I, chronologically speaking, I used the Pearl Color first, followed by the Artist, and then I worked on the Color Softs. And I have to tell you, the swatches alone was quite a relief after the struggle of the Pearl Color and the Artist pencils, and the Color Soft was a nice feeling on the hands upon drawing. It just feels soft, velvety, buttery on the paper, plus it has a nice layering to it. Some people would probably expect that it would be too waxy or it creates wax blooms very similar to 
the premier colored pencils once you layer enough but to me it develops that film far less or far later in the drawing um, process as compared now to the other colored pencils um it's blendability absolutely stunning you could do the battery <laughs> batter method when it comes to using these pencils that when you layer one pencil on top of each other it blends the layer that comes under it and creates a new color it's erasability it doesn't erase that well in fact most colors that they have stains um but when it comes to creating gradients since it has that soft core it creates um easy gradients for you to do um or at least with the techniques that i'm used to um again creating gradients must probably also um, involves some technique depending on the qualities of the pencils right but for me with the techniques that i know and used to creating gradients with the color soft is quite a breeze and you can see here it has nice transitions even with just using three pencils now the drawing process um i know that i'm drawing very simplistic figures right now but um i just wanted to have a feel for the pencils you know and um with my experience using the color soft you could see here how i do the batter method wherein you put one and then smush one pencil on top of it and then it'll blend the layers underneath it works pretty well with this um pencils and that that's what happens when you have softer cores you could do this technique when drawing um now my experience using this um it's pretty nice um it i just enjoyed it you know those um, art supplies that you don't have to fuss over or you don't have to stress over this is the color soft um pencils they are wax based and they are um pretty soft and it comes with a range of 72 colors um they perform really nice and it is available open stock here in the Philippines so that's a plus um, it also has a skin tone set which you could buy independently um, I think it contains six colors with its price well open stock um, in Europe it costs two euro and 45 cents so I think it's it's a good buy if you want to buy it open stock but take note that only 88% of the color range is light fast if suppose you're a artist who wants to sell your products and again apologies for the cars and motorcycles passing by while i am recording all right a big rah to the derwent lightfast this is the top of the line top range the rolls royce the whatever analogy you have this is the best of the best when it comes to the different lines of the pencils or at least that's how they are marketed they are the ones most suitable for artists given that all its pencils are assured of 100 percent light fast as conform conforming to the astm zero um d6901 standards and Oh my gosh, um, I have the 72 set but I'm first watching for you guys the 24 assortment of it and then I also added as an extension the 36 um, set. So basically the first two rows that you're going to see is the color range that you'll have if you buy the 24 set and then the ones on the side will be the additions that you'll have when you buy the 36 set. So if um just talking about which set is best to start with when it comes to the light fast whichever you you could afford um I think that's the best um set that you could buy when it comes to this one whatever you could afford that's the best set that's for you that's it when it comes to this Derwent light fast and the 24 um re assortment not too shabby but it is a bit um heavy on the um, deeper earthier tones and um, the brighter ones that are light fast are a bit more difficult to find um, you could either buy them open stock or you could buy the bigger set if you could afford them now um, when it comes now to layering the light fast pencils perform absolutely stunning um, you could layer um, a whole load of pencils and it can maintain its point um, it's not as crumbly as the um Karandash luminance because that's one drawback of using the Karandash but um it has a nice feel to it um the only drawback that I could say when it comes to the Derwent Lightfast is of course the price of the pencils um the pencil costs three euros and 65 cents which is absolutely ridiculous if you're just a beginner um 
again, if you're a beginner, I think um, it's best that you take the mid-range or take the entry level, which is um, from their pro set. Probably the color soft is best for you or the chroma flow. Um, if you have limited budget, definitely don't, don't go for the light fast immediately if you're still learning. When it comes to erasability, it erases pretty okay and you have here now the blendability, it layers on top of each other pretty well. Um, if you want to know a more in-depth discussion on the Derwent Lightfast, I have a video um, which I could link below and probably in the cards there if I have time to edit. I think I also have a review of, um, let's see, what else are the colored pencils that I have here that I already made a video of. Oh yeah, um, later on, um, the ink tents, I have a video <laughs> discussing on the ink tents, which you could watch later on for more details. When it comes now to this demo drawing, oh my god, I was very sloppy with my techniques. I was not technical at all. I just threw pencils on top of the paper, um, not even going to small circles, just being rough with it and I am still getting good results. I am still getting good results from the Derwent Lightfast and I think that's what happens when you have good art supplies. Um, it makes drawing um, and the drawing process faster, easier, and um, it yields better results for you. Now, let's talk about the two water-soluble pencils that I got. First one, the Graffitins. This is a very unique pencil set because I haven't heard of pencil, colored pencils that are water-soluble that's mixed with graphite yet. It's a very innovative product coming from Derwent. And first drawback, upon opening it, it had a weird smell. I mentioned it in my haul video. It had a weird smell to it. But um, the way it performs... Um, the cores are pretty soft. It works pretty nicely. It has a good lay down on the paper. Um, it doesn't have a tough texture that um, feels like you're drawing with wax. Instead, it's very creamy. Um, and I wish that this color range was more um, water resistant or has a waxier texture to it. Um, I just wish that this was not water soluble is what I'm trying to say because the color range is very reminiscent of the drawing pencils and once you dilute it with water um, the colors become very vibrant which is in contrast to how it looks upon swatch but i need to know more about this i just use this first as a supplementary pencil to my artworks this is one that you see right now then the next one is the derwent ink tense which i already have a comparison of this pencil to the Karen Dash Museum Aquarelles. They feel a bit more hefty compared to other Derwent pencils. Oh, by the way, I did mention that I had a review on the, the just these two, but I also had a review video of the Derwent drawing pencils. <laughs> a lot of funny of me to just interject that right now. Okay, so um, I think a lot of people know already how these perform. Um, they go on the paper very smoothly and very nicely, but um, what matters most with the Derwent ink tents is how it looks once you dilute it with water. It becomes absolutely beautiful, absolutely vivid. Like If you see right now on the page that the pencils look very bright, wait till you see them once water gets in contact with their core. It's absolutely nice, wild, and bright. Um, the con when it comes to buying the 24 set is that you don't actually get 24 ink tenses, but rather you get 23 ink tenses plus an HB pencil, which um, take that as you will. I'm not super happy with having an HB there. I would rather have another ochre color compared to just having a standard graphic, I mean graphite pencils. But nevertheless, here you can see the ink tents in action. Look at how bright they look once you wet it. It's, it, it couldn't could it be even more possible to make them brighter okay so this is it in application to a drawing using it as a supplement to my graphite drawing so here are all the derwent pencils that you have and here's my verdict um must-haves are the light fast and the drawing pencils which color range to start with definitely the drawing pencil or if not then color soft and artist pencils could also be good alternatives bottom of the tier list is the sadly the um pro color and the artist pencils which are sad because they marketed it as pro and artist um it is what it is but 
yeah, here are all of them side by side with a comparison of the course that they have. And all of them have that signature Derwent wave. So, with that being said... So yeah, that's it. That's the video. I hope you enjoyed watching and um, learned a thing or two. And hopefully it helped you decide which one of these pencils is best for you. And with regards now to the graphitants, I will be creating a separate video on that, talking more about it and trying to experiment more with that. Basing now from the different pencils that we talk about today, definitely my top two favorites are the light fast and the drawing pencils. And I am not disregarding how much fun I had with using the Chroma Flow and the Color Soft, but at the bottom of my favorites definitely has to be both the Pro Color and the Artist Range from the reasons which I stated there um, a while ago from trying it out. So um, I exerted a lot of effort for this um, video trying to cram in some quick clips of me drawing. So I'd appreciate it if you subscribe, maybe give me a like. And with that, I hope you have a great day, week, month, year ahead of you. And I wish you all the love. And as always, peace.